Hey, what's up guys? Spartan Gaming here, and we're back today on some more Dying Light, and this time I have an unboxing video for some Bozak dockets. I only have 17 of them, so it's not too many, but at the same time, it's not very little. So, I'm going to come over here to the Quartermaster, and I'm going to start redeeming some of these dockets. First one is a Ferocious Sledgehammer. Now we have whatever that was. I didn't even actually get to read that that was. A f another Ferocious Sledgehammer, which that one was purple. Another Ferocious Sledgehammer. A Safety Blade, and I believe that's what I grabbed before. A Heavy Tribal Axe. That sounds neat. Another Sledgehammer. Another Sledgehammer. Another Sledgehammer. And another safety blade. So we have seven more dockets. Redeem again. You have no space in your inventory. I have a ferocious baseball bat in my stash. Alright, so we'll just keep doing this. A safety blade in the stash. A ferocious sledgehammer again. Another blue safety blade. <clears throat> Another blue ferocious sledgehammer. Come on, give me something good. And a purple ferocious sledgehammer. And the last one is another sledgehammer. So that was actually really, 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 really shitty. Uh, so let's at least go and take a look at the shit that we got. So at the top, we have a boomerang blade, which that's not. I'm just gonna. Yeah, just gonna dismantle that. Drop all those flares. Drop the throwing stars. Drop those Kurt's bombs. Uh, does 1600 base damage. So that might be made into something nice. That one's 1700. <clears throat> so drop that one. I don't really care about that. Safety blade. Let's see what that looks like. Of course, I can't look at it while I'm inside of the safe house. What was I thinking? Let's hop up here real quick. Oh, okay. So it almost looks kind of like a, a kukri. Let's go ahead and drop that on the ground. Get a better look at it. So it's a pretty nice looking uh, machete. Let's see what it says. It's a under construction. <laughs> That's pretty neat looking, alright. And then we have the ferocious sledgehammer. So we got like 20 of those, even though we only had 17 dockets. It says fight on the hammer head of it. Really slow, because it's a two-handed weapon, of course. Um, it's kind of got like a carbon fiber sort of looking, or a carbon fiber sort of look on the top near the head. It's actually, it's really nice. It's kind of a, it's like got that worn sort of look, but at the same time, it looks really modernized because of that, uh, the nice steel and the carbon on it. All right. So, got some more sledgehammers. Let's look at this tribal axe. Oh, this one actually looks pretty neat. It's uh, got kind of a bluish axe head. Uh, it's a double-sided axe head, so it's not that single one. Or, Which I actually really like the double-sided one. So is this a two-handed or is it a one? So this is a two-handed axe. Uh, and it's got kind of like a, a white tribal design on the top. So let's go ahead and put that on the ground. And it's got 1600 base damage as well, which is pretty nice. So yeah, it's got like a black wooden handle <coughs> with that blue axe head with the white designs on the top, which is actually pretty neat looking. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to that one, actually. Uh, another safety blade, don't care about that. And a bunch more hammers, again, don't care about those. Nor these jewelry boxes. Or those cigarettes. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and drop those off as well. So, wasn't that great, but I did get the one axe out of it, which was a pretty nice looking axe, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in my uh, stash, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I know it wasn't, you know, that great, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. Hopefully we can uh, try and get some more dockets and uh, do another unboxing, or opening, as I should say. So, like I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment of what you think about the video, and of course, subscribe me 
my channel to more for more content.